The Zagreb County Court yesterday remanded former Transportation Ministry State Secretaries Zdravko Livakovic and Milivoj Mikulic, former Croatian Motorways Director Stjepko Boban, the Director of the Zagoria Techno-Beton Company Miroslav Bunic, and two managers from the Viaduct Construction Company Ivan Berket and Damir Kezele to one month in custody under suspicion that they were involved in the embezzlement of more than 5 million euro from the Croatian Motorways Company Hats. Former HATS financial director Josip Sapunar is already in custody, while Igor Premilovac, the owner of the Czech company Remorker, who allegedly admitted that funds were siphoned from HATS and the Croatian Chamber of Commerce through his company account, has been released. There is growing speculation that former HDZ Transportation Minister Božidar Kalmeta is also being investigated by authorities with regard to the HATS scandal. Kalmeta, the incumbent mayor of Zadar, has reiterated that he will cooperate fully with the ongoing investigation, but also announced a slander suit against the head of the Independent Roadways Union, Miat Stanic, who has publicly accused Kalmeta of being involved in the HATS scandal. A group of cabinet ministers led by Deputy Prime Minister Branko Grčić attended a British-Croatian Trade and Investment Forum in London yesterday, where they presented investment opportunities to British and European banks and investment funds. The projects being offered include the privatization or granting of concessions for a number of major companies and services, such as Croatian Motorways, Croatia Airlines and a number of strategic ports. I think this is a, a really important opportunity to showcase the opportunities in Croatia across a wide range of sectors and we have interest from the oil and gas here, we have interest from IT here, from retail services. Um, it's very important to see this as the start of a relationship. Uh, this is a great day. Uh, I've uh, encouraged the Deputy Prime Minister to see this as something that Croatia repeats in London regularly because this builds the relationship and helps British businesses understand more and more about the opportunities. Opposition parties, NGOs and unions in Croatia are opposed to the program, saying that it is little more than a sell-off of national interests to bridge gaps in the budget. A two-day summit of European leaders opened in Brussels yesterday. Representing Croatia is Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic. The focus was to have been on economic and social policy issues as well as concerns about EU migration. However, the meeting has been overshadowed by anger about allegations that the U.S. has been spying on its European allies. German Chancellor Angela Merkel, whose mobile phone was allegedly bugged by the NSA, said that she wanted action and not excuses from U.S. President Barack Obama. An as yet unidentified person removed a dual script sign from a Vukovar courthouse last night. The dual script signs in Cyrillic and Latin are opposed by locals who say that a 2011 census, on the basis of which the signs were erected, was falsified. In UEFA Europa League football action, Rijeka was defeated in France last night by Lyon 1-0, while Dinamo played Dutch side PSV to a scoreless draw in Zagreb. In the regional handball league, Croatian side Nexe from Nashice beat Partizan in Belgrade 30-25. Predominantly sunny with some mild cloud cover on the coast. Highs will be between 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. 